Hey there, Johnny Chow with you, and today I am at the Hyatt Regency at Two Fountain Plaza in Buffalo, New York, with executive chef Michael Wilkes. Michael, how are you today? Fantastic, thank you. Great to see you. You know, I've always envied chefs like you who could sit in a restaurant that is located in a hotel, cook breakfast, lunch, dinner, room service. How do you do it? Well, it doesn't stop. There's always something going on, and that's what keeps it fresh here in the hotel. You know, it, it's not like a restaurant that closes at a certain point in time. We're always available to our guests and producing food for them. And, you know, you have to cater to a lot of different demographics being in a hotel, whether you be a person coming in for a wedding or a family reunion or a gala event or a wedding. So there's always something going on, and it really keeps you on your toes. How many years have you been doing uh, hotel chefing? Uh, I've been with Hyatt for 20 years. I've been in the hotels for 24. I couldn't even imagine t having to deal with the amount of people you deal with every day, the volume of food that you have to order. It, it, do you do all the ordering as well here? I do a large portion of the ordering. Um, it's not unusual to get like eight, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars worth of food in on a given day. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, that's great. And you know, as you know, I mean, I've been doing more of a personalized chef uh, kind of experience with celebrities and all. And I'll do my buffets, my charitable buffets for two hundred, maybe three hundred people. And I always find that that's a big chore. I I I, I wake up in the middle of the night, like flipping out wondering oh my god do I have everything you know so it's always a process but here I guess you have a system down that's already uh, that that works uh, within the hotels you have to be able to adapt you know you never know when a group's going to add uh, another banquet or um, you know for instance when I lived in Whistler the uh, the ski resort the highway got closed and so two buses were headed down from the hotel they turned right back and they came right back to the hotel and everybody had to eat. Did you ever run out of food? Uh, when I lived in Grand Cayman, it got close. Yeah. And Grand Cayman, and during Christmas time, it uh, wasn't unusual to have storms come through. And if the storm came through, it meant the boat couldn't come with all the food. If the boat can't come with all the food, you're not cooking anything. If the boat sinks, you're sinking, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. It's, well, you know, it's, I find it real interesting. And as you know, today there are so many different chefs the advent of the Food Network and all these other networks, the chefs are popping out from under the counters. Um, how, how do you feel about what's happening in the, in the food world today? Um, I think people are definitely more educated about food, which is a good thing and a, and a bad thing. Um, you know, they may know about a product and it may be trendy, but they may not actually know how to use it. Right. So um, it's great that people have more education but sometimes a little bit of knowledge can be almost detrimental. Buffalo has so many fantastic restaurants these days. How do you compete with that? People who come in to the hotel, how do you keep them here instead of them wanting to go out and explore the many restaurants in Buffalo? We really try to create that guest experience um, by providing the things that people are looking for. Um, there's certain indigenous dishes to the area, like for instance, well, buffalo wings, uh, beef on wax sandwiches. Um, there's a lot of great local beers and we try to offer those to our guests so they don't have to go out. Um, they can use us as a one-stop shop. Uh, so, you know, on a day like today where it's, it's raining, it's nasty outside, in the middle of summer, they don't have to go out. They can stay here and still get that great Buffalo experience. Right, that's, go that's always a good thing. And, and so today, you're gonna prepare something for us to show us your style, exactly what people can experience here at the Hyatt Regency. Sure. What have you got? Um, I've got some, well, I, I'm really about util utilizing what is freshest, what is available, um, what is local, what is sustainable, um, and as well as playing playing with food like my job necessarily isn't work to me it's about the experience of utilizing great products and making my own creations and concoctions and just playing with food.